Hey, this is Juanita McDowell from In Motion Real Estate Institute, and today I want to show you how to write on a PDF form. Now, many people know about PDF documents, and quite often I think we're familiar with uh, the Adobe Reader, and there's lots of software you can buy out there. Some of it's expensive, but it allows you to write on PDF. So I want to give you some low-cost to no-cost alternatives, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a comparison side-by-side of two that you can use, one that will cost you and one that's free. So let's talk, start with one that I really like, but there is a cost. It's PDF Filler. You would go to pdffiller.com and the first step you would do would upload your PDF document. So go ahead and find that on your desktop and I'm going to go here. I'm really making an attempt to go paperless, so I'm really into things like this. It's going to go ahead and load my PDF document. It's not going to take a long time. And in fact, I'm not going to edit this out because I want you to see how long it takes to upload the file that you need to edit. In just a few seconds. It's almost done. Okay, now that was a one-page document. So as you can see, it's taken just a second for one page. If you have more than one, you might want to go get a cup of coffee. Alrighty, there's the form that I need to fill out and I want to go paperless. So let's watch and see how this works. You can see you've got a couple options at the top and they stay there even though I scroll down to the bottom and what I want to do is I want and you can see my little T there I want to position the T where I want to write so I'll click right there and type my name alright and then I can position the T on another place where I want to write information now what's interesting is I want my signature here and I want to show you some options come up with PDF filler we have a signature option so I can type it, I can draw with the mouse, or I can make from image, which means that I can actually find an image on my desktop and use that signature. I've already put that signature in there. If I hadn't, it would probably, and then I can say, okay, allowing you to find it on your desktop. And then there are other options as well, as you can see here. You can actually add a check in X, so that means that if I'm going to use my Visa, I can put that here and just put a check mark is going to be right there. I'll just grab that check mark and let's say I want to just use that right there again, grab the check mark, put it right there. Those are already done for me. And there's some other options here. Again, it's something very, very easy to use. And when you're finished, you can view, you can say done. And when you say done, you can actually print the form, email it, fax, or save it. There's just one catch and that is you do need to pay. There's $29.99 unlimited, $9.99 if you want to have unlimited for 30 days, and of course $12.99 for just one day. But again, it makes it really easy to do. Now you're probably saying, okay, why don't you hand me the free? Alrighty, that's the next thing up for us, and that's going to www.pdfescape.com. Again, it's still easy to use. I'm going to click here. You can create an account for free. And what I want to do is I want to edit a PDF file. So I'll give that a click. And then I'm going to upload my PDF document. I'll choose my file and say open and upload. Now it brings my file back right here. And I'm going to just show you how this works. Let's look at the left navigation bar. As you can see, there are things I can do. I can create text. I can white out text. I can drop an image in, so that would be like my signature line. I can also insert a link, a line, a form field. There's some annotations as well. I can add a sticky note, a highlight. And then on page, it allows me to do some delete, deleting and things like that. So let's just talk about what I can do and I'm going to again insert text. So I'll insert text and start typing here. You can see I have instructions here. Click on the page to insert a new object. So I did do that and I'm going to insert the new object, that object being text. Okay, so that's pretty easy for you to figure out. And also I have, let me just show you white out so that I don't want that name if I, there. I can actually white it out so I can go right here and choose white out and as you can see cover that up and now it's white it out go back to text and I can type again whatever text that I want placing the cursor where I want to begin typing 
Also, signature. Let's talk about how we'll get my signature in PDF Escape. I would click on image. I would find that image on my desktop. Upload. And now I have that image. So I can go right to the signature line and click because that was what I just want to insert. And see how it's still selected. And I need to get that signature a little smaller so that it fits right there on the signature line and again I can adjust it to the right size and now notice I just clicked because I meant to click on text what happens when I do that I need to come here and click on delete just to get rid of that and let's say that I want to ask a question let's say I do want a sticky note there then I can give an annotation by creating a sticky note here and I can as soon as I click on sticky note and click here I'm ready to type here do I need to add showcase fee as an example. And then when I'm done, I click insert, I can start back clicking text, and my sticky note stays right there. Now, real quick, I can also highlight. So if there's something there I want to highlight, I can click highlight and go right here. Let's say I want to highlight this code, and I can do so right there. And I can also change the color of that. Let's say I want it to be like blue and I can make it a light blue highlight. And after I'm finished and I'm done, there's a couple options here. I can print it. I can save it. In fact, that's one thing you may do. And or if you're like me, save and download the PDF. So watch what happens when I click on that. Some other options up there you can see, share. And now I can keep it. And when I save it, I will probably save it to my desktop so I can actually um, email it out because again I'm trying to go paperless. Alright so that's your tech tip for the day and I hope you can use this tip and hope you enjoy these tools. Thanks for watching.